You found a prize! Click on an item below to choose your prize and collect your 20 bonus tickets. Congratulations! Perfect. That sneaky fox is going to hear it from me! A nerve of that guy! Nutley, what happened? I was walking along, minding my own business, when a mean old fox tried to make me his dinner! What'd I ever do to him, huh? I'm sure nothing. Exactly, Professor! What I mean, Nutley, is that the fox was only doing what it needs to survive. <laughs> this better be where you teach me something that I don't know, because it sounds like you're taking his side. And he's a bad fox. Let me explain, Nutley. There are many kinds of living things in the forest, right? Sure. There are rabbits and snakes and grasshoppers. And us. The mighty squirrels! So what do you think, Nutley? There's a hundred squirrels in this area? Actually, there are 92. Counting is my thing. So 92 squirrels is the population of squirrels. That's the total number of squirrels in an area. Population, huh? Makes us pretty important, I suppose. Oh, yes, Nutley, very important. But we're not the only population in this area. There are populations of rabbits, deer, rats, and mice. Oh, and foxes. Yes, foxes, too. And these animals are all part of the food web. Ah, the food web. Of course. So you understand what the food web is? Not at all. Okay, let's back up. I mean, let's start at the beginning, with the sun. Oh, I love the sun. It's so warm and toasty. Well, you should. The sun gives light to all of the plants, like the grass, for example. The plants then use that sunlight to make food. You mean plants make their own food? Out of thin air? Well, yes, out of air and nutrients from the soil and water. That's amazing! Yes, Nutley, it is. But unlike plants, animals cannot make their own food. So some animals, like rabbits, grasshoppers, and mice, eat grass and other plants to survive. I prefer acorns myself. Me too, Nutley. Now, some animals don't eat grass or leaves or any parts of plants, but they too need food. And since they don't make their own food, then those animals, like snakes, must eat other animals, like mice. Some animals, like rats, eat both plants and other animals for food. And snakes eat rats as well as mice. So this is a food web? It's part of one, yes. Now, who do you think eats rabbits and rats? And sometimes squirrels? Mean old foxes, that's who! And so do owls and hawks. Making a note of that. See, Nutley, we're all part of a food web. It's very important to all of our lives. It is? Oh, yes. Imagine if there wasn't any grass or leaves. What would the mice, the rabbits, or the grasshoppers eat? And if there were no rabbits or mice or grasshoppers, what would the snakes, the rats, and the foxes eat? Wow. The food web really is important. Yes, Nutley, it is. And that's not all. I'm all ears. Some living things, like worms and ants, eat parts of animals and plants that are dead. They also eat the waste that animals make. Did you say waste? Yes, waste. It's another way of saying poop. These worms and insects eat poop and dead things? Yes, they're also a very important part of a food web. Can I just say how happy I am to be a squirrel right now? So, Nutley, that fox wasn't trying to be mean. He was merely doing what all animals in the food web do to survive. You're right, Professor. Now I feel bad. Hey, maybe I'll tell him I'm sorry in a letter. <laughs> Dear fox who tried to eat me for dinner, I am no longer mad at you for trying to ruin my day. We're all just part of the food web. Your pal, Nutley. Uh, Nutley? Where are you going? To hand deliver my letter. Wanna come? No, and you shouldn't go either. Remember... Goodbye!
point.